In this video, we're gonna check out the ground pod bipod from MDT. Gavin Gu here from ultimatereloader.com. Here at Ultimate Reloader, we run quite a few different MDT bipods on our rifles. MDT has kind of two different categories for bipods. There's the Skypod, which a lot of PRS competitors, NRL hunters, field hunters are gonna be familiar with. The Skypod is a premium lineup. It starts at about $599 and caps out with the triple pull at $999, so just under $1,000. Over here we have the lightweight double pull. And we've gotten a lot of use out of these bipods in a lot of different use scenarios. Everything from shooting prone to shooting positional, all sorts of different options sh sitting on the hillside with triple pull legs extended and on the downhill slope, really good stuff, but those are premium bipods at a premium price. MDT recently came out with ground pod. Ground pod is under $200, basically just at the $200 mark here in the US at the time of the filming of this video. As you can see, we've got it here. We've been also using this bipod quite a bit it looks great, it's got great features, and it comes in at a great price point. Let's get the box open to see. We've got this one that we've been using. I have a second brand new one here that I haven't had out of the box yet. Okay, there we go. A <laughs> nice, brand new, fresh unit. Okay, let's talk features. So, as you can see, it is a real compact form factor, the ground pod collapses down into, it's got this nice green anodized aluminum backbone, uh, four and a half to nine inch adjustment range for height, single-handed adjustments on all the different adjustments on the bipod. Uh, it's got 40 degrees of sideways cant, so the buttons here are gonna extend the legs, and then you've got a total of 40 degrees of movement for cant. Uh, mount options include RRS Arca, which we've got on both of ours here. You can also get it for Picatinny or Arms 17. So three different mount options. It's got the rapid deploy legs, so you can deploy them with a pull and you can retract them by pushing the button and they'll click into place. So nice quick adjustments on that. You've got different position options for the legs. We've got forward, which is zero. We've got 50. And this forward angle is nice if you need to go down a little bit or if you need a little bit more resolution on your height, 90 degrees, which is straight down. And then we can also extend them completely backwards. Now you have to make sure that your, your tension knob is not going to interfere if you've got them extended all the way back. I typically don't run them that way. I run them forward when not in use. And when you're using a shooting tripod, they're definitely you know, not in the way. So uh, really good functionality. I always like to have the, the tension lever for the adjustment of cant. I've got the bubble level on my scope or built into the chassis. I get things where I want. Sometimes I run it with medium tension so that I can adjust cant on the fly and shoot without a full lockdown. So quite a bit of uh, nice design details and features built into this unit. In terms of materials, we've got 6061T6 core. We've got the polymer buttons for actuating the, the angle and leg extension options. And then we've got carbon legs with rubber feet tips. Okay, so that is a quick look here in the studio at the ground pod. Let's go out to the field, get this on the ground, and I'll do an infield demo to show you some of the features. So we took this rifle up to the ultimate reloader ridgeline range and I did what I like to do to start out and that's to take it to the 100 yard range and just confirm zero. I had changed the brake on this, I was using different ammo and what I found was my windage was just very slightly off. I think I had one click, one tenth of a mil adjustment needed. And we're also using the long shot LR3 camera system. We've got 
two cameras and one receiver that we're using. We used one for the 100 yard sight in. Then we went down to 336 yards. This is one of the targets we can get to. The snow is starting to melt up there, so we put one of the long shot cameras out there. And then we brought things in with a second camera to 176 yards. Let me show you how all that went. So here we've got a target down at 336, and we've already confirmed our zero, and I've got the, the ground kind of moving away from me there, falling off. So I'm gonna go to full extension for this particular shot, and I'm probably not even gonna have room for a rear bag here. So this is kind of a test of how far we can go with things. Pretty close to some vegetation as well. Hold bottom edge here. So I'm going to come down two clicks. Oh, we knocked the target right off the chain. Very nice. So kind of an awkward setup and one where we were able to adapt, specifically uh, nixing the rear bag and going down to full extension. For the next shot, we're gonna go to a target that's a little bit lower. And so we'll make our way down the hill a little bit for that to get lined up properly and see how that's gonna work. So we've moved up the ridge line a little bit. We've got a target at 176 yards. And I'm going to leave those legs fully extended. We'll see. We'll see if that's going to work here. Okay, I'm on the target. We're going to take things down to 0.5. Come up. <laughs> very nice yeah and if we want to get uh, down a little bit obviously we can go to that 50 degree angle and then as we move the legs in and out we can even have the legs at a, a staggered extension and then pop things back down we've got our tension lock yeah so it's nice compact design and uh, here in the field, I think it's gonna do well in a variety of circumstances. So as always, it was a lot of fun to shoot this 6.5 Creedmoor up on the ridge line. There's a lot of different targets that we can engage up there and we're looking forward to using the long shot LR3 camera system and a bunch of different configs because I feel like it really helps to tell the story of the shooting that much better. And the ground pod is a great choice when you want something that's flexible, something that's budget friendly given the construction and features that it has, and also where you have a limited elevation range uh, that you're needing to work with in terms of your positioning and what you've got for support on the ground. If I have uh, real extreme circumstances, I'm gonna probably take out one of the sky pods and do a double pull or a triple pull kind of setup, and that gives me even more versatility in that kind of situation. But for a lot of shooting, this is a great answer, the ground pod, and it's also really lightweight, which helps as well on a rifle that you might be packing around. As you can see over here, I've also got the ground pod set up on a coyote hunting rig. Uh, this rifle happens to have some green on it, so that actually ties in real nice uh, for that particular rifle, and it's compact works well with the tripod like you see over here and we're going to be doing coyote hunting with both you know shooting prone off the ground positions and you know using the the tripod to get up up above and shooting over grass and all sorts of things so here's my question for you is what are you using for a bipod and what do you think of the ground pod drop a comment and we'll start a discussion that concludes this video and that means it's time to wrap it up I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels.
Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're gonna to wanna to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you're interested in becoming a professional gunsmith, check out the Sonoran Desert Institute. They've got a degree program, they've got a certificate program, and you can study from home. Learn more at sdi.edu. Thanks again for watching.